Start with your feet shoulder width apart into a nice stable position. A great reference point of where your hands should be is have the thumbs on the tip of the shoulders. This is where the dumbbell or the barbell should be. So it's slightly outside your shoulders. From there, we're pushing straight up overhead. What we want is we want to maintain the elbow underneath the wrist. So we're not poking our elbows out to the side as we're performing the reps. With the dumbbell shoulder press, have the tip of the dumbbell on the tip of the shoulder. You can perform it into a traditional shoulder press position with your palms facing forward, or you can go into a neutral position where your palms face each other. Neutral grip position is great for anyone that has shoulder issues. If you like it more than the traditional position, go for it. Pressing straight overhead. Neutral grip would be like that. So we're making sure that we're driving our elbows down to the ground on the way down so we're not flaring our elbows out to the side. You'll see a lot of people bring the dumbbell into the middle. You don't have to do that. Press overhead. You'll notice as I get overhead, you won't be able to see my ear because my arm gets in the road. It's a great reference point to know that you're in the right position. With the barbell, it'll look like this. You have your hands just outside your shoulders, exactly like a dumbbell shoulder press. Press overhead. We're starting the barbell from your collarbone and driving straight up overhead. We're keeping the barbell really close to your nose, up and down, pressing overhead, making sure we're keeping the barbell close to our nose, up and down. We're starting from the collarbone and then from the top, you won't be able to see my ear because my arm gets in the road. A great reference point is we want the barbell cap to be in line with the middle of your foot when you get to the top of range. There are two ways to get the barbell into a shoulder press position. We can hang clean the barbell into a front rack position, or we put the barbell onto a rack, and then from there we go into a front rack position or a front squat position, and we step back out off the rack, and then from there, perform the reps. One thing to note, I prefer everyone to do standing shoulder press rather than seated shoulder press. We live in a society where we sit down way too much every day. If you like seated, go for it, but I would prefer you to do standing.